Hey, my name is Edward Cates. I'm a machine learning engineer at Kung Fu AI, and I'm going to run through a couple new kind of groundbreaking document AI models and why they beat previous approaches. So the first one is the Layout LMV3 model released July 2022. And the other one is the OCR Free Document Understanding Transformer, aka Donut, that was released last October. So the, the, the main thing that makes these models groundbreaking is um, their consideration not only of the text in the document, but also what the document looks like and where the text is on the page. So previous approaches, um, previous state-of-the-art approaches really only consider the text. You can use existing models out there to you know, give, them, give them an image. They return all the text found. They also include the position of the text, but that's disregarded. And from that point, either a complicated set of rules is applied to the text or maybe even some natural language processing. But as you can imagine, you know, a name at the top of the page versus a bot the bottom of the page could have a much different meaning. Um, or you could get invoices that you're trying to under understand or pull data from that look completely different based on who sent them to you. Um, the, the information could be in a different order. So the fact that these models are starting to use not just the text, but the, the graphical you know, information is, makes them more powerful. Um, so this model, the layout LMV3, takes as input the text, the positional information, so where the text is on the page, and also a small picture of the document. And from, um, from all those things combined, it's able to get a really good understanding of the document. You know, it's able to understand the significance of each piece of information pretty well. The other model, the donut model, is interesting in that it only looks at a picture of the document, uh, a somewhat high resolution picture. But from that, it's able to essentially run, um, you know, text text extraction internally, and it's able to perform a lot of the same tasks, but um, with with you know a more flexible set of, of inputs, um, and that's that's pretty cool. It's it's kind of magical that 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 it's able to do that, to just look at a picture and then start spitting out text. That's remarkable. So here's an example of that. Um, this is the donut model parsing a receipt and you can see how bad the receipt image is. It's crumpled and dark, but it's still able to print out, you know, the items, the, the quantities and the amounts and the, the subtotal and total. And you can see it gets a, you know, it gets some letters wrong. This should be black coffee. Um, this is probably chicken. I'm not sure. I can't even tell. But uh, yeah, I don't see chicken on the receipt. But um, yeah, it's able to do all that just from this receipt image. And that's pretty incredible. Um, here's it. Let me skip over. So this is an example of the layout LMV3 model actually taking, OCR, taking the text as input, like I mentioned. Um, but it's tagging each piece of text with what it is, you know, the significance of what that text is. So in this case, it's really just question, answer, or other. So the questions like the name of, a, you know, this is a field name. The answer is like, this is the value of a field. But if you wanted to take your documents and have a model basically automatically extract, you know, the, the pieces of information you cared about, you could build off of this because, um, you could give the text and the document to this model and the model would basically tell you, okay, here's the piece of information we found, you know, that's, this is the invoice number or this is the total amount. Um, and it kind of does that all in, in one shot and, and very effectively. And then finally, um, just to give you an idea of document understanding, this is really just the idea of a task, but both of these models can be trained to perform this task. It's called vision, visual question answering. And it's basically, here's a document. Um, I'm going to ask the model anything I want to about the document, and it's going to answer. So for this letter, it could be, what's the zip code? What's the date in the seal? Uh, who's this addressed to? And you can see that answering questions require models not just to read the text, but interpret it within the layout of the document. Um, and so, yeah, so you can train these models on a diverse set of documents uh, with all sorts of questions, and then they're able to, to start answering things like this. So it's pretty remarkable.